Hiya too and happy Wednesday. Welcome to another English lesson for the week. And your English lesson today is all about commas in a list. So the title of your English lesson is commas in a list. Let's begin by looking at what a comma looks like and where it sits on the line. So this here is what a comma looks like. What I'd like you to do first is because I know at school you sometimes struggle to draw commas correctly. So I would like you to pause this video and have a go at drawing a comma. Now when you draw a comma, it has to sit on the line. So let me show you on here. It's got to sit on the line. It doesn't float in the air. It doesn't float in the sky. It sits on the line. Okay, so pause this video and have a go at drawing as many commas as you can to familiarise yourself with them. So, well done to those of you that have done that, and let's carry on with our lesson. So, the way we are going to use commas today is in a list. Now, sometimes in our writing, we might write a list, we might want to write three adjectives about a character, we might want to say three things that we bought at the shop, we might want to say three activities that we did when we went out at the weekend, when we went to the park, when we went to the shop, whatever you might have done. So commas in a list come up quite a lot in our writing. So it's really important that we perfect them and know how to use them correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to show you a sentence where a comma has been used correctly. So here is the sentence. The dog has soft fur, sharp claws and a wet nose. So I decided to use commas in a list in this sentence because I wanted to say three things to describe the dog. So I've said he had soft fur, comma. I haven't drawn my commas correctly on here. Soft fur, comma, sharp claws and a wet nose. So your comma goes after the first thing in your list. So the dog has soft fur. Soft fur is the first thing in my list, so I need to put a comma after it. Sharp claws. Now I haven't used a comma after sharp claws, even though there's still something else in my list. And the reason for that is because you always use the word and before the final thing in your list. So you use commas, you might want to write more than three things, you might write five things. So you would use a comma after everything in your list, apart from before the last one. And before the last one, you would use the word and. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So here's another sentence, just making sure I form my comma correctly. So the girl had beautiful hair, comma, a button nose, and bright blue eyes. So the girl had beautiful hair is the first thing in my list, so I've used a comma afterwards, a button nose, and bright blue eyes. Bright blue eyes was the final thing in my list. So before I wrote down bright blue eyes, I knew I needed to use the word and because the final thing in my list always has the word and before it. Right, I have got a sentence that's all jumbled up. I'm going to put it out in front of me. So I've got swung high on the swing, ate delicious ice cream, I went to the park and I went on the slide, a full stop, the word and, and a comma. And I'm going to have a go at putting this sentence together. So I know that when I write a sentence it has to start with a capital letter and I can see a capital I here. So I went to the park and I. 
So I know that a list is going to come after this. So I went to the park and I went on the slide. And if I'm writing a list, what needs to come after that first thing in my list? I went to the park and I went on a slide, comma, mm, ate a delicious ice cream. Now I've only got one more thing in my list, so I know if it's the final thing that's going to go in my list, it has to have an and. So I went to the park and I went on the slide, comma, ate a delicious ice cream and swung high on the swing, full stop. Right, what I would like you to do is with your adult at home that's helping you with your home learning, I would like you to have a go at writing three sentences that include commas in a list. Can you correctly use the commas and can you remember where the word and needs to go. So pause this video and have a go at writing three of your own correctly using those commas. Now remember you practice writing those commas at the beginning of the session so make sure you get those commas perfect sitting perfectly on the line for me. Okay so pause the video and have a go. Well done to those of you that had a go with your adult at home. If you would like to send me some of your sentences, post a picture on the Google Classroom for Miss Collis and I to have a look at, that would be fantastic. What you now need to do is log into your Doodle account, click on the Extras tab at the top, and I have assigned you a piece of work on there called Commas to Se Separate Items in a List and you've got many, many activities to complete on there. Remember to try and earn as many stars as you can because we want to be top of that leaderboard this week, okay? So if you've got any questions, message myself or Miss Collis on Class Dojo, or leave a message in the Google Classroom and we will get back to you as soon as we can. So enjoy this activity and have fun learning all about commas.